It is Vlogmas day 17, and today we're going to do kind of a short thing, but it's it's a classic. It's a classic of the Vlogmas genre. Sure, whatever. We're gonna do the what my favorite holiday movies are, and it, this is my top ten, though they're in no true particular order other than three of them are my favorite my favorite of the ten even so this is where we are I keep trying to decide if the, this angle is just miserable or if it's me you know what we're just gonna go with it it's fine and I don't know if I should do this from well, they're in no particular order, so I can do them however I want. This is, this is, this is. So, Santa Claus the Movie. Yes, I did say Santa Claus the Movie. It's from the 80s. It has, like, John Lithgow and Dudley Moore in it, and it is quite possibly... Somebody was really on drugs when they came up with this movie. But it's kind of fantastic, too. It, it, it's It's very, you know... Capitalism is evil, but in holiday guys, so it makes lots of sense. And the reindeer are cool. The reindeer are very personality, personality. So that's kind of you know a nice change of pace outside of like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, which brings up the Rankin Bass Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, which is just Santa Claus, and that is a dick. He is the actual worst, and so are all the other reindeer and Rudolph's parents. The only reindeer who isn't awful is Clarice. <sighs> but it g gave us, you know, the song about being misfits, which rock on. <laughs> and the Bumble Snowman. Because Bumble's bounce. And it's, it's just, it's beautiful, and the music is lovely, and really living true to the the everybody in the Rudolph the Red Nervous Ranger song God it sucks out loud Emin Otter's Drug Band Christmas which is a Muppet a Jim Henson Muppet production thing it's an adaptation of a book but it has it again it has lovely music and it's it's Muppets I mean Kermit like wanders through at one point and as very sweet And there's a Judd band in it, which I really like. I like, I like weird, weird forms of co country music, like bluegrass and Judd band and country noir and things like that. So watch it; it's cute. You'll like it. How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Now, how can you not like something that is Dr. Seuss and also? being narrated by Boris Karloff. No, yes, Boris Karloff. All of a sudden, they couldn't remember if it was Boris Kar Karloff or Bela Lugosi. It's going to be one of those days. It's going to bother me. I can't remember. But it, it, if you've never seen it, it's... It's Seussian. <laughs> it is exactly as... nonsensical and... It, important and endearing and thoughtful as you think it's going to be because Seuss. The Holiday, which is probably the most recent thing on my list and is the one of the only things that's like people. There's like three things that are actually people. There's a lot about The Holiday and this is the one with like Jack Black and Jude Law and like the list of people in this movie is kind of impressive and I don't like romantic comedies. They are not my jam. Probably because I'm aromantic, so they make no sense to me. But there's a lot of things in the holiday that make sense from where I sit and everything. And it's cute. It, it's And just the, the kind of weird, you know, let, let, let's deal with our traumas. It's kind of nice to see. And more or less dealing with them healthily. The Nutcracker Prince. Now, this is a very strange Nutcracker because it's animated. And I want to say it's from the 90s. 
but it actually has like the story of how the prince became the nutcracker in it like the curse that he had and Drosselmeyer and unfortunately it's kind of hard to find too one of the three movies on my list that has actual people in it a smoky mountain christmas now again with the obscure i like my obscure things it's dolly parton it's a dolly parton holiday movie which you know is going to be sappy and it's going to be gross and it's going to be very musicy and it's super cute it is a fairy tale for christmas replete with an evil witch and being put in under a sleeping spell and the entire thing and it's we, we were watching it yesterday and it holds up pretty well too which is kind of impressive but then again dolly parton is, is always been very very specifically feminist so i mean the things with like the evil wit the evil witch is is problematic and stuff but it's also a fairy tale all right now we're at the ones that are like my three favorites that are tied for favorite all right so the the ones that are basically my favorite 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 favorites are a christmas carol the the a christmas carol that has alistair sims in it preferably the black and white iteration i'm not real big on the colorized just because it's real it's difficult for me to watch because of the way it like processes way i process images but it's it's my favorite iteration of a christmas carol and some of it has and, and a lot of it has to do with with like just like the 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 care that's dealt with the 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 Cratchits are dealt with like you see them before you see them in Christmas present and just like weird little bits and pieces like like Bob Cratchit uh, playing slide with uh, street kids and and it's one of those where this the Alistair Sims's version of Scrooge is one of the few versions of Scrooge that doesn't feel cruel often Scrooge feels cruel in Christmas Carol iterations and this is less cruelty it feels like and more just his own disappointments and fears in the world have set him set upon him so hard that he can't get out of where he is until there's an intervention because it always feels like in a lot of Christmas carols that 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 his that Scrooge's redemption doesn't feel earned and it doesn't feel like it makes sense and in this one it does for me that being said one of my other favorites is the stingiest man in town which is an adaptation of a Broadway musical and it's Rankin Bass and it's animated and it's <laughs> it's narrated by a humbug the music is lovely the animation is lovely that quintessential Rankin Bass aesthetic and it's very much leans into the it's a ghost story for Christmas it's one of those things that because the humbug is there and the time spent with with Christmas present is so specific Scrooge feel Scrooge's redemption feels earned there too like he he, he always wanted it but he didn't know how to get it which sounds strange, I know. And my other most favoritist one is The Life and Adventures of Santa Claus, which is, again, a Rankin and Bass adaptation. I, I, I grew up in the age of, like, Rankin and Bass did all the holiday movies. So, but it's a Rankin and Bass adaptation of the Frank L. Baum book of the same name. And Frank L. Baum is the person who wrote the Wizard of Oz novels. So the man moralizes, <laughs> which is cool, but it's the life and adventures of Santa Claus is again a fairy tale for Christmas, but it's also the most pagan holiday movie you're going to run across likely. You have a character who's essentially Kiernanos, you have fairies, you have trolls and dragons and, and Santa being raised by magical beings rather than being a human and it's like his, his immortality comes because he's earned it by being a 
person who cares for others. Kindness, you know? This is a fairly complete video, which I know is weird for me. Do good, be kind, be brave, do the right thing. It's important, as Anthony Oliveira would say, be brave enough to be kind and courage. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine.